Test Car 2 is one of the more unusual vehicles on the Great Central Railway, if not in UK railway preservation full stop. I say that knowing full well it's a British Railways Mark 1 carriage, and after all there are hundreds of them around offering rides to passengers. The test car story gets interesting once the passenger seats are taken out. I'm Dave Bauer. I'm a volunteer with the Quorn Wagon and Wagon Group here at the Great Central Railway. Test Car 2 was converted from a standard BSK coach in 1974 by the Railway Technical Centre in Derby. It was converted specifically for doing slip brake testing. So slip brake test, the, the best way to describe it is to look at the picture that we've got over here at the end of the coach. So this is a typical slip brake test in action, uh, a locomotive, uh, normally a class 47 hauling test car two and the wagon under test at a predetermined point at a test speed uh, the wagon is slipped from the back of the test coach using a special coupling uh, and then we measure the brake stopping distance performance of the wagon on its own i.e not coupled to any other vehicles this is a uh, a model of the slip coupling the special coupling that is used for detaching the wagons that are being tested from the back of the test car the cable is pulled back that releases a clip that allows the jaws of the coupling to open and then that allows the coupling to detach this is a standard uh, brake schematic for uh, our typical slip brake test train uh, locomotive supply air down the yellow pipe all the way down a train that gives air on every vehicle on the train the red pipe on the front of your locomotive is the driver's control pipe and that's the method that the driver uses to to control the brakes on his train as he reduces the pressure in that red pipe it causes a distributor on each vehicle to put some of its own air into the brake cylinders i.e putting the brakes on when we slip our our coach we we have a special setup on this coach which allows us to control the brakes independently on the wagon and the test so when the coupling is slipped the back of the coach we can put the brakes on the wagon that we're testing and as the wagon slows down being tested the brake pipes that fit between the uh, the coach and the, the wagon pull apart that's the way they're designed to uh, to, to operate once the wagon under test had been slipped from the back of the train, its braking performance could be measured by instruments on board Test Car 2. This is the uh, calibrated uh, speed and uh, distance counter that is used during the slip brake testing process. Uh, when the brake is applied to the uh, wagon that's been uh, slipped, this automatically starts the distance counter that allows us to measure the stopping distance of the, uh, the wagon under test. The officer in charge would be uh, at position at the back of the coach here. The slip coupling is operated by its manual cable out of the uh, window and we have direct communication through a wired intercom system to the uh, driver's cab that allows us to talk to the driver immediately and let him know what's happening with the uh, slip vehicle. There is a special flashing light unit that is vibration controlled that is on the wagon uh, that gives the uh, officer in charge a visual indication that the, the wagon has come to a stand. The crew on the vehicle were well catered for, with toilet and galley facilities. Tests would take place all day on a section of the West Coast Main Line near Crewe. Dave actually worked on them. I did 20 years uh, working for British Rail at the Railway Technical Centre in Derby and had uh, many occasions of working on this test coach uh, in anger in the 1980s. The routine was normally it would be an a, a trip out and back from the Railway Technical Centre in Derby, uh, transit move over to Crewe, the coach would go with the wagon under test onto the down slow line north of Crewe, test for a, a day's worth of testing within a possession and then pack up and back to Derby at the end of the day. The majority of uh, uh, brake testing now is done by uh, computer modelling and dynamometers. Uh, there is a small amount of, of testing at low speed done occasionally to, to validate models and validate the dynamometer results. In the new technology world then there's not the need to uh, physically test to the extent that was done in the 1970s and 80s. It's important that it's preserved because this coach is unique and there are very few test coaches in the UK of the Railway Technical Centre fleet that have, have been saved. A lot of the coaches that have been saved have been turned back into passenger use. What we decided to do was to preserve this coach as a, as a test coach uh, to show off the history of how and why wagons were tested by British Rail.